If you're looking for an AI detector that can detect copyright issues, plagiarism, even AI flaws, well, I have a solution for you. It's called Polygraph AI. And let me show you how it works and the deal is going on right now. Hey, what's up everyone? So this is Polygraph AI and the main feature for it is AI detection and also a humanizer tool, along with several other tools like plagiarism checker, copyright issues, and several other things that you can do with Polygraph AI. Now, they've currently won in the war for the SXSW, and they got a small check there, which is pretty cool that they got there. And this is something that's really important for some of the users is the security features at Polygraph AI. So let me show you that really quickly. They are IPA compliant, SOC 2 type compliant, SOC 2, SOC 2 type 2 compliant, IL2 and IL6, and they're also coming with high trust in the future. So these are things that are really important for some users and they are compliance with these, all right? So do consider that. Now, right now, there's a deal going on which you can grab Polygraph AI for a lifetime deal. So that means that you pay once and use forever. And it starts off at, well, it only has one deal, which is $59. It's kind of like a starter deal. I really don't think that it's a fantastic deal, but it's in a lifetime deal. Now, let me show you what that is going to get you so you understand what I'm talking about. All right, so here's a rundown on the two deals that are going on, the lifetime and the yearly deal. If you grab the lifetime deal, that will be tied to the standard plan. That means that you will find some limitations on the tools available on the lifetime plan. And if you grab the yearly plan, that's going to be tied to the premium plan, which would have almost all the tools available. Now, the lifetime plan will get you access to this amount of tokens for the monthly token. So that means that every single month, you'll get 150,000 tokens per month and 100. 135,000 monthly words. Now, that's not a whole lot. And if you plan to grab Polygraph on the lifetime deal, I would highly only recommend using it when you actually need it. So if you find something important that you need to check if it's AI written or if you need to humanize content, then use it there. But if you're just going to write content that doesn't really matter, use something else. Don't use these tokens. Now, on the annual plan, I don't have a screenshot for that, but it has really great limits. So you're going to get super great limits for the annual plan. So if you plan to grab that to get more features with the premium plan and more tokens, that's the way to go, right? But if you wanna go soft with the pre with the lifetime plan and just use the credits when you need them, it's also a good deal, right? So let's jump into Polygraph AI. So this is the main dashboard and there's main tools that are available in Polygraph, like the detect AI generated text. So that means that if I wanna detect the AI if I want to take the text, if it's written with AI, it's a good feature. Now, I have found mixed results with this. So, for example, I'm going to grab this that I just wrote on, well, GPT wrote for me on the chat, right? So, I'm going to analyze this to see if it's written with AI or human. Now, in this case, for example, it says Gemini 50%, grammar enhanced 25%, and human created 24%. So, it kind of thinks part of this is written with a, with a human touch. Now that's completely normal. This doesn't mean that everything that you're going to use over here, for example, ChatGPT has to be detected as AI. It's obvious that it's going to have a human touch too, or it's going to simulate that it's kind of human. So I'm going to get mixed results here. And this is the amount of tokens that I just used for this check right here. So you understand the amount of tokens that you're going to get on the lifetime plan. Okay. So it's not a whole lot. So you got to use it when you actually need it. There's also a compare feature. I can start new and I can do it AI highlighter. So that means that I can highlight what is the AI part. So let's go ahead and analyze this and it's going to use the AI highlighter feature. So now it's highlighting for the green for alter, red for AI and gray for human. So there's just a little piece that it thinks it's human, but the rest it knows it's AI, which is pretty good. We know that this is, this is written in AI. So it's good that we got these results, okay? So it's just super easy to use the AI detector. It's super simple. You're gonna also upload a document. It turns that document into text and then you can analyze it too. There's also, we saw this, the highlighted AI, detect humanized AI text, which is also pretty cool. But this one is in the upgrade feature. So that means that this is not included neither on the lifetime plan or the yearly plan, which I think was a pretty cool tool, especially if you are a teacher and you wanna detect if students are humanizing text or maybe in your company, if you're a team members and you don't allow AI and they're using this, then it's a good feature to use, but it's not in this deal, right? So you'll need to grab Polygraph directly from their site, okay? There's also the detect copyrighted text. So I can go ahead and analyze this text that I've just grabbed. So let's go ahead and analyze it right now. 
and it's going to analyze if someone else has something similar posted, even if there are phrases or the whole paragraph or something like that. It's going to let me know if there are certain parts of this that was detected and the source where it was found. So it's a pretty cool feature. Now, in this case, I'm not going to wait for this to be done because it does take some time since it's going to search all over the web and find results that are similar, right? There's also the analyze your writing. So this will analyze your writing. So what I just wrote, let's go ahead and analyze this just to see what it's going to find for us. So let's see what results it's going to provide. OK, we just got the results for the quality and statistics. So tokens used for this amount of text was 525 tokens. And we got scores for readability, syntactic, vocabulary, perplexity, average sentence length and cognitive flow index. So it just lets us analyze that we can modify this text to see if we need to improve it or not. It's up to you if you want to do this or not, right? Next, we have the Stealth AI Writer. That means that it's going to use a really complex way to write a content. It's going to do an AI research around the web to get your content a, a unique piece in this case. So, for example, what do you want to write about? Article, essays, research papers, news article, etc. In this case, I'm just going to say that there's going to be an essay, something really important. And what is this going to be about? And I'm going to use what I just grabbed over here on the ChatGPT for the title and give it the idea. So this is going to give it an overall idea of what I want. And then, then it's going to it's going to improve it with more details. All right. So any specific keywords you want to include in this case, no. The amount of words for the article, you got all the way up to 1000 words in this case. And then the writing style, I'm going to say technical in this case. What what's your tonality? I'm going to say enthusiastic. Let's hit next and then I have the option to say, who are we targeting in this in this case? So I'm going to just I'm going to say schools. But I mean, you could say something more professional there. OK, in this case, how detailed should we be? And I want it to be an in-depth research. How do you want to structure this? And I'm going to select this kind of structure just for testing purposes. Then choose the reference. So academic journals and industry reports, etc. Government publications, in this case, academic journals, for example. And then it's going to do a call to action at the end. It's going to continue. And then it's going to enable real time Internet search, which is something you do want. And then we have the option to select the range of Internet search. So I'm going to leave it as it is websites to include. So if I know that there's a website that's important that has details about what I want, I add it here. And if I want to exclude a website because I know that I don't want it to be similar to that, or I don't want to get copyright issues. I add it here in order to get excluded. Once you're good to go, go ahead and create the article and it's going to go through the process of researching and then writing the article. This takes about 10 to 20 minutes, so it really tries to find details out there. It makes a unique piece there, right? Then you have content enhancer. So if I just go ahead and add this content here, I can go ahead and enhance it by the AI highlighter, AI checker, summarizer, humanize, etc. So it's really a great option here. So right now it's detected as the AI detection here. I can actually humanize this if I want and then check if it's generated with AI. We should be getting a better score for a human written content. I'm not going to wait for this, but you get the idea of the tools that it has available. Then there's the content humanizer here that just focuses on humanize and I can eliminate AI through this option. So as I mentioned before, this is a great option, but I do recommend that you use this when you want to use your credits, especially if you're on the lifetime plan that doesn't have a lot of credits. So definitely check it out. Remember, the lifetime deal starts off at well, it, there only has a plan of fifty nine dollars, which I think is pretty good for what you're going to get. There's not many lifetime deals out there. That's going to get you a humanizer, AI detector, copyright detector and AI research tool to write content. So it has unique tools for the lifetime deal. So definitely check it out. Link provided in the description. And that's a wrap for Polygraph AI.